The key difference between machining plastic and wood is that plastic melts and wood doesn't. And that makes all the difference. In this video, I'll be showing you how to get perfect plastic cuts. No mess, no melting, no burning, just really good results. And the exact bit to use when doing it. Let's get right into it. So in order to address the first common mistake people make, we need to understand the basic fundamental difference between machining a plastic like this and machining a wood. Some of the common mistakes you're gonna see when cutting plastic on a CNC, a ton of chip out, melted edges, and really just a stringy mess. Now there's a couple different reasons for these common mistakes to occur, so let's dive in. So whenever you're cutting wood, you're not gonna have a stringy mess because, well, wood is not stringy and it breaks apart. The second thing is, whenever you're cutting wood, you can recut those chips again and nothing's bad's gonna happen, right? Eventually, if there's enough friction buildup, you get a fire, but that rarely, 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 knock on wood, ever happens. But with plastic, whenever you're cutting it, whether it's a harder type plastic like acrylic or a softer type plastic like this high density polyethylene, HDPE, it has a melting point before a burning point, whereas wood doesn't. So whenever you're cutting it, because those chips are getting cut again, a lot of people kind of see this bad cut and they think maybe, you know, it's the machine or it's the tool path where it's really just fundamentally the bit is not doing a good job because the chips are getting cut again and they're welding back to that bit or back to the piece of material and then you get sloppy cuts, you get that stringy mess, you get melting, all that good stuff. So the first couple common mistakes that people make whenever they start cutting plastic is they use a down cut bit and they use standard woodworking bits. Why you can't use a down cut bit is because whenever the bit, these chips get in that groove, and as you know, a down cut bit, right, it puts everything in that trench, that, that cut path. Whenever that bit comes back by, it's going to recut those bits, right? You're gonna have friction build up and you're gonna have some welding and it's gonna just make a horrible, nasty cut. And so if you've been using down cut bits, you probably haven't been having good cuts. The next thing is that a standard upcut bit, let me grab this one right here, this is one of our ruffers. The standard upcut bit has a certain angle, a certain shear angle where it's gonna eject the chips. But with plastic type cutting bits, and we'll get into that in a little bit, it's gonna have such a sharp angle to evacuate those chips to make sure that this plastic doesn't really melt back together. And so that's gonna give you a lot better cut. Whereas wood, you don't really ever have to worry about that. So now let's get into what bit is the best to use and then we'll run it on the CNC. This is an O-flute. And what an O-flute is, is typically a single flute upcut solid carbide bit. And they do have occasionally some downcut versions of an O-flute but I have yet to see the reason why. Now what an O-flute is good for, and I'll, I'll go into a little bit more geometry here in a second, it's the best for cutting acrylic, HDPE, any types of plastic, aluminum. I use an O-flute to cut it up. I cut up this in my shop. Now, if you can look at the difference, these are both upcut bits. This one's gonna be the O-flute upcut. This is gonna be a standard two-flute upcut. And as I rotate these, you can see just a huge key difference in this bit versus this upcut right here. Now, the difference between the two and why it looks so crazy different is this O-flute has that mirror finish kind of inside is because it doesn't want any of that melted plastic adhering to it. So it has a super slick, a very low friction coefficient edge so the chips can get ejected out of there and not weld onto any part of the bit whereas a standard upcut bit doesn't have that angle and those pieces may or may not get welded onto there therein lies the problem so with all that being said let's stick this o flute in the cnc so we can talk about how to machine properly with it let's go so the first thing we're going to machine is a piece of acrylic using this quarter inch o flute bit then after that, we're gonna come back with an eighth inch O-flute and make us a fun little sign on this multicolored HDPE. Let's go.
All right, so as this is cutting, there's a couple things I want you to notice. Notice how many hold downs I have to have for this because because of that upward shear factor, there's a lot more pull. So even on my industrial machines, that acrylic doesn't hold down that well. So what we're doing here is we're just doing a simple pocket and then we're gonna do a profile to cut everything out. But notice, this is how, look how far it's shooting those chips. You see that? Now, it smells like a nail salon in here as well because once again, it's acrylic, just like those acrylic nails. And so these are all good things that you wanna see when cutting acrylic. Now, last little cut. I didn't put tabs. Be sure you put tabs. But we had no welding, no burning of any sort, and you had a beautiful clean edge right here that you would not get using a standard up cut and you definitely not get using a down cut. So this is how acrylic is cut on a CNC. That was that quarter inch O flute, but of course you can use that eighth inch O flute as well. So here are the settings on the screen that you need to be running these bits at. These are standard across the board. There's an eighth inch bit, there's a quarter inch bit cutting into a hard plastic just like this acrylic. So hope these feeds and speeds help. Now let's get to cutting out that HDPE, which is considered a soft plastic. If you're getting knowledge from this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you do want these O flute bits, we do have them in a set, both the quarter inch and the eighth inch bit available on CICWorkshop.com, or you can buy them individually. Thanks guys. So what we're cutting now is considered a soft plastic. It is HDPE and the best way to know if it's a soft plastic or a hard plastic, if you can cut it with a knife pretty easily, it's a soft plastic. If you can't cut it with a knife, it's a hard plastic. There you go. Now, we're particularly using a color core today, which is a tri-layered plastic that once you machine down, it changes colors. And so they have a whole bunch of different color options. There's blue available as well. I have those available on CIC Workshop 2. So if you wanna check out those, definitely check them out and I will flash the feeds and speeds for cutting soft plastic with that eighth inch and the quarter inch O-flute after the cut so you can pause the screen again and get all of those settings. Let's get to cutting. So as we're doing this last pass, I want you to notice there's like a little halo around it. Well, a piece of plastic got wrapped around the bit and it's kind of flinging a lot. This does happen when milling plastic. It's not the end of the world. I can let it go. It's going to be okay. Nothing bad's gonna happen here, but it is something to take note of. Another thing to take note of is it gets really, really messy. So be prepared for that. Now we did drill a hole with that eighth inch O flute and it did really well drilling holes. Remember, because you have that C shape and it can drill holes really, really nice because it's that up cut and it's ejecting all of those chips. So I just love, I love this stuff. It's really fun. I think it's a very underutilized material and underutilized bit. And um, I'm really excited to start carrying all this stuff and hoping to help you guys machine it all. So we'll take this bad boy off real quick. So sometimes you get these little things like that. You just go in there at your finger. It's not not very big deal here. Um, a lot of times you can take like a nylon brush and clean off everything. I added some tabs so I can go in and cut those off real quick. And there you have a nice little sign. Let me stop real quick and show you those feeds and speeds for cutting soft plastic with a no flute. So what you're gonna notice with these feeds and speeds is that you can mill a lot faster in soft plastic than you can hard plastic. Now, 
If we were to cut out these with a standard two flute upcut bit, let me show you what this looks like. So these are two signs. This one was done with an upcut O flute, and this one was done with just a standard two flute upcut finisher. Now you may not see a huge difference in these, and if you're only cutting out a couple signs like I just did, using that two flute upcut finisher is just fine. You do not have to go out and buy two specific bits just to cut these out, right? But there is a lot more work you're gonna have to do on the finishing side of it. It leaves a lot more little fuzzies, and on soft plastic, it just doesn't leave as good of a cut as the O flute does by far. And on hard plastic, it's horrible. So if you're doing acrylic, highly, highly recommend the O flute. If you're doing soft plastic, if you can use that two flute up cut, just know you're gonna have a lot of fuzzies and a lot more cleanup work to do. Um, so I do recommend the O flute for those soft plastics as well. And probably hard to see on camera, but this one has about 10 more minutes of cleanup than this one right here. So I hope you left this video with more knowledge than when you started. Stop procrastinating on your CNC journey. And as always guys, remember, if you ain't cutting it close, you ain't cutting it right.